Hey guys, welcome back to the series I'm Turning 30 where I, Mitch, talk about my life, whether that's the past, present, or the future. And today, as you can see, we're going to talk about the present and we're going to hop into a day in my life. As we begin a day in the life and I start to wake up, I do set alarms for quite odd times. Ever since I was in high school, I decided I didn't ever want to wake up with anything ending in a 5 or a 0. So I always wake up at 6.59 on Tuesdays and Fridays, and on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, when I go to my other school, I wake up at 7.16. I have to take a moment in the morning to kind of compose myself and ready, think about what I need to do, get all the stuff out of my eyes, nose, beard, everything like that. I try to make sure I'm not forgetting to do anything in the morning, kind of just sit there for a second and try to remember what I need to do before I get up and out of bed. This is what I chose to wear today, one of my favorite outfits. Solid filming past me. Almost forgot to put on deodorant, make sure I do that. And another thing that I have to do every single morning is make sure I fold up and put away my futon. I have to make sure that I put my futon in the closet underneath every single day. And I don't really eat any breakfast in the morning, but I do make sure that I prepare my lunch, so here I am grabbing an apple for the day. And I actually do have the same lunch every day. I always have this apple. I try to always find the crunchiest apple I can find. Next thing I'll show you is a packaged a couple of sandwiches. This is the tuna one, and then a couple of Biscoff crackers. Sorry about the focus in this next shot, but every single morning I usually will check the weather to see what kind of shoes I need. I have some waterproof Vessi shoes that I will wear if it's going to be a rainy day, and if it's not, I just have some regular shoes that I will wear out to the schools. Uh, today it didn't seem to be rain at all, so I chose my normal shoes. Head down the steps from my apartment, and then we walk along from my apartment. This is one of the streets leading up to the train station. And after about a five, seven minute walk, we get to the station. We have to use this ticket to go through the gates. And we give this ticket to this guy who stamps it. And I head to my platform. And this is where I wait for my train to come in. And you can see the train coming in now. Now we hop on the train and we find a seat. The day that I filmed most of these clips, I was going to my visit school, so I have to go about five stations from this stop. If I was going to my other school, which I do feature some clips of in this video, it's only one stop, but the main school takes me about six minutes to get to by train, 
and then my other school takes me about 30 minutes by train and then 30 minutes by bus. So we're going to see both of those in here as well. Even though my visit school is far away, I do get to see this view of the sea and the nice mountains in the background every time I go in the morning early, so with the sunrise, and then I usually will take this train back around 6, and that's kind of when the sun is setting. So sunset and sunrise, I get to see this really nice view. As I line up to get off the train, I have to have the train connector my ticket, and I step off and go to where I need to wait for the bus. As I said before, it's about 30 minutes to get to my school, so I make sure that I have the 200 yen necessary for all bus rides up here to get to my school, hop on, and take a seat. We hop off the bus and then right across the street is this giant hill that I have to walk up to get to the entrance of my school. As you saw at the start of the video, I had to not have my shoes on in the house and even in the schools, you cannot take your street shoes into the school. So I switch into my school shoes, put my regular shoes in a locker and get ready to go. This is what my desk looks like. And this is what a regular school schedule would be like for me when we have classes at this school. However, classes are not in session, but this is what it would look like if I was about to head to a class. This is what a classroom looks like, and for any fellow Jets that are watching this video, yes, I did get permission to film it. And again, just super solid camera work here, but this is what uh, I basically would look like sitting at my desk. I will usually have an, one earphone in, listening to some type of YouTube video or Japanese lesson as I am sitting at my computer, but this is me making a lesson plan, I believe is what I was doing this day for later in the semester. Riveting stuff. Once all my work is done for the day, I will usually watch YouTube videos or play crossword. And this clip is from my main school. I went out on the main boat that we had and watched some of the students participate in the club called the Yacht Club, where they go around on these boats. And once the school day's over, we switch back into my street shoes, put my regular shoes back in the locker, and we head out the doors. And instead of the perspective of my visit school leaving, this is my base school leaving and just kind of what the walk home looks like a little bit from the school. Apologies for the tilted camera.
because my main school is right next to the sea, walking home, there's a little Tory gate looking out of the sea, and then if we flip around here, we have what is a shrine with a giant Tory gate right here. And now we just wait for the train to come. Once we're home, it's the same deal as at the schools. Make sure I take off my street shoes before I step into my house and we start to decompress. By starting to decompress, I'll clean anything that really needs kind of like a small type of cleaning. This includes stuff like doing the dishes or maybe sweeping something small or getting ready to take out any trash if the trash day has come. I usually do this at school but wanted to show this in the video. I have Anki decks for studying Japanese. I have the Romaji to help me pronounce it as well as the Kanji, Hiragana, and Katakana below. And I'll usually go through about 200 cards per day. Once I'm done cleaning, eating, and doing everything else, I will hop into video games if there's no other plans that I have for the rest of the day and pretty much just play video games if I'm not cooking or doing anything else until I go to sleep. Before getting the futon out at night, I will shower. Once I've showered, I will come in here and grab the futon, make sure that it is all comfy, all my blankets are in order, all my pillows are in order, and make sure that I will have the best night of sleep possible. And we will turn off the lights with a little remote to take our glasses off and get ready to go to sleep. And that's going to be it for a day in the life, guys. Let me know if you liked the video down below. Also, let me know if you liked the audio a little bit better with the mic close like this and me kind of talking at this level rather than the other things. Just trying to change some audio things up to see how the videos fare. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me down in the comments down below if you did. Or maybe some tips if you think there are ways that I could have done the video better. I look forward to seeing your comments. If you liked this video and want me to do more things outside and try to think of more video ideas to film outside, please let me know as well. But as always, I appreciate you guys. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe. I put out a new video every single Tuesday for those in America. It is on Monday, I believe. But regardless, every single week at the same time, you get a video. So if you like the content, please drop me a follow as I will be posting a video all the way up until I turn 30. Again, appreciate you guys so, so much. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.